Stereo Madness, the first level in the popular game Geometry Dash. Yo, I know that one. Anyway, a while back I made some full versions of the levels in this game and they did pretty well, so I'm making more, I decided. Uh, better late than never. Subscribe or something, I forgot the script. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Great way to start off a stream, just immediately start dying. So, I uh, don't have a plan for this. If I was any kind of sane person, I probably would have planned out ahead of time what I'm going to do to any degree, but that's not me. We're not using this, we're using the full version of the song, which <laughs> I, I didn't get pulled up. I don't have it. I probably should do that. <coughs> anyway, I just realized I shouldn't... <laughs> Why did I make a new level? I need to copy Stereo Madness. So yeah, I really didn't know what I was doing, but lucky for me, my chat had my back with plenty of brilliant ideas. I could add a ship that works like a wave. Uh, maybe I won't do that. I feel like that would be better if I didn't do that. Add a club step monster. Your, your, your suggestions aren't quite it. I, I, I have to be honest. VSC jump scare in the level at the very end. <laughs> Y'all's suggestions are really good. Yeah, I know, man. Anyway, I also like built stuff or something, I think. Okay, I guess we have these objects, you can just recolor them, but I do have the original object in here that Stereo Madness uses, and I'm just gonna use that because I wanna be authentic. That is not aligned to what it should be. Okay, I do the classic staircase. Add the entirety of Stereo Madness full to the level. That sounds, now that is an idea. That's a great idea, I think I'll do that. And so I did that. One thing that helped was to go back and look at the kind of structures Robtop used earlier in the level. Okay, so most of the level is just this one tile set in just like these massive blobs. Uh, we got we got some more creative designs going on here for a short period of time. We have some pillars with the default blocks on top. Okay, since that was the last part, I think I'm just gonna go with the blobby look. Maybe go with some double spikes here. I think I'm going to put a spike here, and then I think I'm going to continue this staircase gimmick. Dude is shocked at the fact that pansexuality isn't just the love of pans. No top one gameplay, how could I? No, man, <laughs> what do you mean, man? This is Stereo Madness, not back on track. Okay, let's have a couple double spikes. It's getting harder again. It's ramping up in difficulty. It's building up to the slaughterhouse wave. And while having no plan is just a a whole load of fun, I figured it might be good to just at least map out where the different game modes go, just do that at the very least. And so I did that, placing text that said cube or ship in the respective parts of the level. Guys, text wasn't in Stereo Madness, he's cheating! To start off the next part, I wanted to repeat this corridor from earlier on, where the screen goes black before the drop, but this time it had a twist. Okay, this time instead of turning into a ship, we're going to have a surprise twist where you stay a cube. It's gonna be wild. No one's gonna see it coming. You know what, for this full version too, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go look at the other Rob Top levels and I'm going to see what block designs they use. All right, back on track has these structures. These are new, maybe I'll introduce those some. Anything interesting in Polargeist? We got this iconic part in Jumper. Oh, Time Machine had these same like Pillar things except for he filled in the blocks. Oh, thank you for the one bit. Thank you. Am I funny game? Yes, I am funny game. You can tell by my strong Korean accent. And so with a newfound inspiration, I got right back to work. One thing I did was make this fake wall. It's like the earlier one where you fall for the coin, but this time you have no choice. Anyway, progress was going well. Do you guys normally call these slabs? Cause that's, that's just a normal name for me. Slabs equals based, half blocks equals average Woolsey enjoyer. Isn't enjoyer like the good one? I think I'll have you climb up a staircase here up to like a higher sky part to like have some variation and I'll just like pretty much only use the slabs in the air for this next part. I had to end the stream kind of early, but the last thing I did was change up the colors so the level wouldn't be stuck in eternal pink. It's so like, what colors does this level use? It's red, purple, it's like all blues and stuff. It hasn't used a light blue yet. I think I'll use a light blue here. That would make sense. It fits in with the color scheme, but this level never used like a lighter blue. <laughs> I never added ground spikes here. Shame on me. Rob Top would be so disappointed. Man, these are so difficult and time consuming to add. It just takes absolutely forever. And oh, look, I'm done. And so that brought my first dream to an end. 
But do not worry, do not fret. I was right back the next day, ready and raring to go. Alright, sorry I had to cut the stream short yesterday. I just uh, viscerally hate you all and had to get away. I'm just kidding, I was being ironic. What was I doing on my stream yesterday? Building this? <laughs> the same thing I'm doing now? Anyway, let me actually start from this ship so you can get a good feel for everything. So you can really sink your teeth in. This is what I have so far. Jump there. It's pretty easy for a little bit. It's gonna get harder here though. There's some fakes, but this time it's not for a coin. You actually have to dodge those. See, it gets a little bit harder, but it's nothing, it's nothing too crazy. This is like, like a couple levels in the game up in difficulty, like maybe dry out or base after base difficulty. Is this an April Fool's level? Dude, April Fool's is already passed. Why would I be making it this late? I, if I was making an April Fool's level, I would have made it before April Fool's so I could release it. Do you mean like next year? Do you think this is going to take me a year to finish? Because I'm not that slow. I'm slow, but I'm not that slow. I am that slow. Oh, man. Now you're right. We're going to make the gameplay. We're going to make the layout, and then I'm going to decorate it. <laughs> and by decorate it, I mean do shit like this. It's kind of over decorating if you ask me yeah I know that's a lot of detail it's gonna lag for most people all right sorry I'll cut to the chase I know what you're all here for this wouldn't be stereo madness without a good few triple spikes the evil triple spike I am gonna nerf it though okay yeah no that's all I wanted to show you enjoy more building it all looks the same I'm gonna use layers I, I'm <laughs> very much hacking now get to see another jaw stream welcome back to the jaw stream Oh, uh, one cool thing I added was this gameplay gimmick here. If you hold on the staircase, then you'll jump too early and crash into this spike. You have to wait on the last jump and time it a little late. After doing this a couple times, I decided to start throwing everything together. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this gimmick one more time right after this. I'm gonna have a triple spike right before it, so I'm throwing these all together. It's getting a little bit tougher. And now it was on to the ship. Both ship parts in Stereo Madness have a pink background to match the color of the portal. But I don't play by the rules. So maybe I'll change it up and make this ship blue. Also, I'm hacking with the text. That decoration's not allowed, but I'm keeping it because I'm a rebel. Hack counter eight. Dude's keeping track. You know what? I'm gonna go wild. I'm gonna add pulses. I know, I know. I'm truly unhinged and must be stopped. But try me. Okay, what structuring do I do for this part? Okay, what do the earlier ships do? Maybe, what if I take a similar structuring to this part, but I make it a lot harder? That's what I should do. That would be like a really cool callback. And so that's what I did. I used these same pillars and spikes on the ground, but just a lot tighter this time. Stereo Madness really doesn't give you a lot to work with gameplay-wise, but I made this cool gimmick where you have to hold and let go as the ship to ride these kind of staircases. I'm gonna do something really bold and brazen here. These weren't in Stereo Madness, it's fine. Stereo Madness was updated in 1.6 to add coins, so this is technically allowed. Reminds you of that one map pack level? I don't know what you're talking about, man. You think I memorized the map packs? I remember like two of them my brain has suppressed the rest I don't know that one map pack level I'm sorry I know it's a sin what inspired me to make stereo madness full um I made other full version levels back in the day and I got views and I want more views because views are cool this doesn't feel full how is it supposed to feel full what if, how do I make it feel fuller does it <laughs> There isn't enough glow block designs, true. I need to make the decoration better. Anyway, the ship was done, so it was on to the next cube. I wanted to make it feel high up in the sky with floating platforms and a light blue background. Also, the level's still getting harder. Let's make it more stressful for the player. Even though this is a buffer, it's just gonna feel like it's really difficult and stress the player out. <laughs> and that's funny. I think this is about as difficult as it'll get. I'll have one more like hardship part and then I think the cube at the very end will be a bit easier. It's crazy how many people there are who are like so obsessive that everything I use in these full version levels has to be something that existed back in the actual update. It's like, like as a general rule, yeah, but it's not like a requirement for every single thing I add. Never in your life would you have thought Stereo Madness would ever look intimidating. That, that sentence for some reason has such strong mobile game ad energy, like, you'll never believe level pink. 
And up to this point, it wasn't too hard to figure out what to build, but I can't lie, this next part gave me some trouble. So I wanted to mix together everything up to this point so far, but that kept on ending up as just kind of a chaotic mess. Uh, okay, I'm, uh, okay, yeah, um, I, this part has no clear identity. I don't know, man, I, I, my brain is melting the more I build. I do need to add ground spikes. Here they are in the spike tab, that makes sense considering their name. Absolutely shaking with excitement. But after some time, I figured it out. The main design I went with were these alternating chunks of the 1.0 blocks, and other than that I just went with basic rob top structuring. The tried and true comes through again. My designs are your property, I am just ripping off rob top. This is literally 1.0 style, I don't know what you can steal. Alright, let's finish this garbanzo. Be right back, jumping off a bridge. Alright. Oh, uh, best of luck with that. Hope that goes well. Whoa, what on earth? <laughs> yeah, let's incorporate that as a mechanic. Yeah, that's good gameplay. I'm just kind of like using gimmicks from across the level. This is kind of like a climax that ties everything together. Whoa, that's way too tight. <laughs> what, what was that? What was I thinking? What was I trying to do there? I'll have like a longer memory cube here. Why not? Screw it. Why not? Just put a memory cube. It's silent club step. Literally silent club step. Level request? No. You notice how it doesn't say level request in the title? That signifies that this is not a level request stream. Can't wait to see this decorated. <laughs> That's balanced, right? And with that, it was on to the final ship. Or at least it would be, but I wanted to add a coin. In all my full versions, I like to delete one or two of the level's original coins and replace them with my own. No, actually, I want to put a coin in this sky part. This would be a good spot for a coin. Maybe if you fall on one of these platforms, I'm just gonna be really lazy with this coin. I made it so when you fall, you have to do a couple jumps and then this blue pad launches you back to the normal route. Perfect coin route, absolutely beautiful. Rob top approved. Instead of falling onto pads, I could add the congregation drop, fuck off. Alright, ship time. I do love a good geometry dash ship. And we'll have it change back to pink this time, so it's like the same as the other ship parts. Okay, we're to the final ship. Let's go. I took some inspiration from the ship in Time Machine, adding big structures with some gaps in them. I think they look pretty cool, but there is something missing. Also, this is so not Rob Top style. There we go, now it's Rob Top style. These structures give Stereo Madness vibes. I know, it's weird, like, nothing in Stereo Madness looks like this, and yet this feels so Stereo Madness, and I don't know why. For the next half of the ship, I went with something more like this part in base after base, adding a tight corridor with spikes on the top and bottom. I did the layout, now it's time for the decoration. And for the decoration, I kept the Time Machine vibes with this pillar structuring. Um, of course, as always, how could I forget? Ooh, I could put them in like, in the gaps like that. Sorry, look, Rob Top was obsessed with these objects back in the day. I don't know why, but it only feels right to use them obsessively. Anyway, ship's done, just one part left. Let's go, we're on to the last part. We're, we're getting so close, man. This has been quite the adventure. I'm liking this. this. This full version has actually come out like really well. Oh, you know what would be really cool? What would be really cool is if we had it be the color that it's fading to here, and then it fades back to this blue. Ooh, I like that. Okay, final cube, let's go. I am really happy with how this has turned out. This is pretty good. I think I won't put any triples until like maybe just one triple right at the end just to screw with people. That would be funny. Ooh, let's let's repeat the gimmick from the very beginning. Yeah, so it trips you up. I like that. Good torture device. Always a fan of those. There's a block right there. So you have to fall. So tricky. I'm full of tricks. Am I okay? That's a great question. All right, it's time for the final little bit. I think you know what time it is. Okay, maybe, maybe I will nerf it. Yeah, I think it'd be more fair because this part's easier than the previous parts. And that's it. 
that is the level. Okay, wait, but don't go yet. So I may have finished the gameplay, but my other full versions have a little end screen and my iconic don't die. So the last thing I did was add those. I should make some kind of end screen of some sort, even though Stereo Madness did not have one of those. Also, I need to add my don't die winky face signature thing. What was that? What happened to the ground? What was that? I'm gonna add a new blending overlay thing. Yeah, four. These are gonna take slightly longer. Five will take slightly longer. All right, and we have to add a thanks for playing. Every level needs a thanks for playing. Perfect. I should make a 99% death effect. Okay, I have an idea. I have a, I have a good idea for a, for a death text. <laughs> it's perfect. It's not perfect yet, though. <laughs> this is so stupid. Almost as scary as peaceful, man. So close. I don't know, that's pretty scary. Not as scary as too kid friendly, that's for sure. That level's freaking <laughs> It's so corny. Oh my god. I love it. <laughs> oh, it's great. Okay, and the end screen works. Okay, that's good. Next up, don't die. I got added don't die to all my levels, otherwise I will die in real life. Okay, I gotta do a little animation. Toggle off 14 and toggle on 15. No, oh, what am I doing? Don't do not do that. Okay, I think that's it. It's time to verify this thing. Let's go. But yeah, when I release the video, I'll also release the level. So anyone watching the video, you can play this level now. Very cool. Very awesome. Anyway, that's it. Enjoy the showcase.
Hell yeah, that goes hard. That goes hard. All right, that was fun. I might do some rebalancing off stream. But that's pretty much it. Uh, look forward to the video, I guess. I'll do my best. This is more just to like test the waters with um, making content around just streaming building and then turning that into content.